Hey everybody and welcome back to another Total Drama episode! My name is Silly Billy, but you can call me Billy! Before I start with anything, uh, apologies, I sound a little sick, I'm coming down with a cold, so um, yeah, my voice is not going to be as enthusiastic as I would like it to be this video, but yesterday something really, really exciting happened. I'm talking, of course, about the reveal of the top <laughs> column, which was super cool. No, I'm talking about something else. I am, of course, talking about the Mario movie trailer, which looked dope. <laughs> no, okay. No, I'm, of course, talking about the Total Drama cast review. Finally, after all this time of being in the dark, Total Drama actually released some information about the new seasons. I don't know yet what it is. I haven't seen it yet. So, I'm really, really, really interested in what this is going to be. I don't know if it's one image or a line of text. I, I know there's some imagery there, so it's not just text, but I have no idea what to expect. So, let's just look it up. I don't even know where to look. Total drama, new cost. Let's see. Okay, after a little digging, I think I found it. This is something else. What is going on here? So, let me just quickly count. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 new people. That is in line with what we knew. Uh, why is this picture so blurry? Can we, can we download this? Reddit coming into the save once again. So, what can we see from this? First off, the first thing that I noticed, the 26 half hours, that is according to what we already knew, because that is divided over these two seasons, I believe. I'm guessing they didn't change that. So uh, this is 13 episodes for season one and 13 episodes for season two. But maybe they're going to do a new uh, season 5.A, B, 2, 1, 3. I don't, I don't know. But maybe they're going to do that little trick again where this will be then, according to them, season 6A and season 6B or 6.2. I, I don't really know how it was with Pocketu Island. Uh, but the community is most likely going to refer to these seasons as season 7 and season 8. At least I think I am. Season 7 and 8 of Total Drama, that's insane. Okay, never mind. Very interestingly, the name of the show is Total Drama Island. Not Total Drama something something, just Total Drama Island. Which makes me think that this is more of a reboot of the original season. And I'm wondering what that means for the second half of this season. I'm guessing that it's gonna be two elimination races, right? It's not going to be that at the end of season 6.1 or something that a bunch of characters get to return and we again compete for the win for the second half or something dumb like that. I'm guessing there will be two competitions. So what will then be the name of the second season? Park 2 Island also wasn't called All Stars 2 The New Cost or something like that, right? It was All Stars was part one. Park 2 was part 2, so if Total Drama Island is part 1, then what will be part 2? Or is Total Drama Island just now a encompassing name for both these seasons? And do they both get different subtitles? I'm really curious why they didn't just go with Total Drama to begin with. Why the, the island edition? I, I knew they were talking about going back to the roots, but they also confirmed that the previous seasons happened. So what is going on here? That's really interesting. Uh, the we're back part is still staying. That is not surprising to me. Also seems to suggest that idea of going back to the roots again. Then we have Chef and Chris. Chef is looking very dapper, if I say so myself. <laughs> um, Chris looking his usual uh, survivor impersonation self. Interestingly enough, the marshmallows seem to be back, which have been gone for a while. Yeah, yeah, we haven't seen the marshmallows in a little while. Again, with the marshmallows being back, that also seems to hint at that going back to the original again. The chef got a little bit of a new attire. I'm wondering if he's gonna keep this or if they are going to revert him back to the original chef design. But I like it. I, I like this purple blouse. Is that... <clears throat> oh man, my voice is really sore. Um, but is the, is the purple uh, blouse, is that from his drama Rama? Attire? Anyway, we have 16 new characters. That is so nice. So good to say that we have new characters. Oh, uh, this feels so nice. I'm, I'm really getting excited for this. What I am wondering though, if we are going to get 26 
episodes spread over two seasons, then I am assuming it's going to be 13-13. But do we get every single character in season one? Or are a couple of these postponed to season two? And if all these 16 are in the same season one, then how many eliminations are we going to get? Because assuming there will be two people in the finale, then you have 12 episodes to eliminate the other 14. That's more than one elimination per episode. We're gonna get a lot of double eliminations. We're probably not gonna get n any non-elimination episodes. And I'm wondering if that's going to be the same for the second season, or if they are then going to cut about half of these characters and develop the remaining cast even more. Now let's dive into these characters because I am really intrigued by these designs. We'll start at the left here. Oh, man, this is really blurry. You're just gonna have to deal with this. I'm gonna start from left to right. So let's start with this guy. Uh, let's see here. He has a fun hat. <laughs> I'm not really too much of a character analyzer. So I'm wondering what we're going to be able to read from these pictures alone. Before I wanted to record this video, I was gonna say, look for the person with the lazy eyes. They are most likely the villain. And this guy has the lazy eyes. If you see here, he has that schmuck look on his face. So maybe he is the villain of this season, if there will be a villain, I don't know. Uh, but he looks like he could be it. The way that he is looking in this picture makes me think that he might be one of the villains. Uh, I think he has a cool design. I think many people are going to want to relate to this character. I don't know. I have no idea what his personality is going to be. He's pretty chill. That's the only thing I can read from him. Maybe the villain. I like the little, I believe this is an earring. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> I'm really grasping at straws here, but uh, yeah, I think this guy is going to be either really laid back, like a, a, a sportive jock type of character, maybe even an influencer, like uh, James in this venture camp, maybe, uh, or he's going to be the villain. I mean, one doesn't exclude the other. We knew that there would be more representation for the current age. For the current generation, about one in two people tries to start a social media influencer career. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe like all these people are, <laughs> that will be, this entire group will all be influencers and these people will not. <laughs> Let's just go uh, to the guy next to him then. He has a fun head. The first vibe I'm getting is Cody. This guy has a Cody face, right? He's a little cute, a little derpy. This guy strikes me as underdog material. Can't really see any of his clothing other than that he is apparently wearing something white with blue stripes. Um... Yeah, I have no idea. I really have no idea what this character is going to be about. It seems fun. Oh, let, let's give name predictions. That's actually quite fun. I, I think this guy strikes me as a Diego. And this guy strikes me as a... I, I don't know, maybe something like Lamar or something? That could be fun. Um, so this guy, he strikes me as a Diego. Could also be a Miguel. Then the guy right next to him... He has an interesting design. He has a long neck. <laughs> what is going on with your face, man? I mean, we know that there will be a uh, gay couple in here. And we don't know if it's going to be a girl-on-girl -girl couple or a boy-on-boy -boy couple. And it feels really wrong to look at somebody and say, oh, they are definitely the gay person. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm not going to make predictions about who the gay people are here but regardless this guy this guy feels a little uh, a, a little silly right he's a little a little, little goofy i think that this guy will be a comic relief character maybe not necessarily the definition of a comic relief character but i do think this guy will have a lot of funny moments if i'm looking at him right now i'm liking the purple look by the way but it's sad that we can't see anything below his uh chest even his chest we can't fully see. So, really curious to see some of the full designs of these characters here on the back. And he strikes me as Leonard. <laughs> this guy reminds me a lot of Leonard. Put a fake beard on him and it's like Leonard. <laughs> so, what name are we going to give this character? Um, I'd say... I don't know, maybe like Joshua or something. Yeah, let's go with that. Then we have the lady in front here. Uh, I'm getting a bit of schoolgirl vibes mixed with tennis player vibes like maybe she's a sportive type i mean she has the the hair and she has the hair tie she has the the skirt which could be used in uh sporting activity like you can imagine her on a tennis court right I mean, at least i can she has the sportive shoes as well um fun design of a character yeah i'm really liking her design so far uh no clue what her role is going to be though very hard to tell not really anything you can read off of her face, other than that she is probably going to be a nice girl. 
right? She has sympathetic eyes. Let us call you uh, Laura. I think Laura works. This could be a Laura, right? Yeah, let's go with Laura. Then the guy next to Laura. Okay, this is interesting because this guy has a very outspoken design. Um, he has the, I don't really care, look. I, I feel like this character is going to be a bit dumber or a bit more of a bully. I really like his hairstyle. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, what about this guy? I'm getting I'm getting Biff or Bill vibes from this guy. Yeah, let, let's go with that. I'm getting I'm getting Bill or Biff vibes or something like that. Let's go with Bill. Sure, let's represent myself. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Maybe this guy is more of like a uh, Noah season one, right? Doesn't really care about the challenges. Doesn't really want to compete. Uh, might go home pretty soon. Right now, if I have to guess this character, out of these five will be the first one to go home. Then, uh, we have uh, this lovely lady in front right here. She looks a little bit like a mashup of uh, Lashana and Sugar. Is that weird? But she looks nice. Like, the, only the hairstyle of Sugar. <laughs> I'm getting very nice girl, a little uptight, like, maybe even a little Courtney's per uh, personality in here, but less... Um, less regal and more layback, so, so to say. A little bit of a businesswoman here. Oh, yeah, I found it. I found the perfect name for this character. I think this is going to be Rhonda. That's my prediction for this character. I, she strikes me as a Rhonda. I don't know why. It does. She just does. If the character names end up being revealed soon, I'm going to compare how many I get right. If I get even a single one right, I'm going to be so happy. I, I think this will be a fun character to watch. She seems nice. No idea how far she's gonna come, but I'm not gonna make predictions uh, based on elimination order just right now because I have to base it purely on their look here. Uh, as soon as we get like um, character reveal trailers or something like that, maybe a little more personality, then I'll start to make my guesses. So, moving on to the character behind her. I am so pissed that we only get to see this face because look at this character. This looks fantastic. I'm pretty sure purely based on this design alone that this is going to be a fan favorite character and the name I'm going to give her is pretty easy as well this is going to be Harley because I'm getting major Harley Quinn vibes from this character right who doesn't who doesn't this is basically Harley Quinn sitting in the back here if that name is taken I'm, I'm guessing they may base it on something like that so what kind of name could you make from Harley like Jenny would maybe work Harley maybe too much on the nose and I think I think they may want to avoid that. What would be a name that reminisces of Harley without it actually being Harley? Like maybe something like Riley or something. Or just Quinn. Quinn. Quinn would also be a pretty good one. Maybe that's too similar to Gwen. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm really excited to find out who this character is because she looks maniacal and I love it. I'm really excited for this character. And then we have this lady right here. Um, yeah. I'm getting a bit of popular girl vibes from her. A combination between Lindsay and Dakota. More towards Dakota. About the influencer thing earlier, I think this may be a model or an influencer. This looks like a person who would care much for her looks. Uh, also, she has these eyebrows. Look at that. That is also the smirk. She has the, the half-closed eyes. Villain look right here. I doubt it. I think this is more because she's a vain character, but the theory still stands. Oh my goodness, I found it. This is Tiffany. This is a Tiffany right here. <laughs> we found our Tiffany. One final thing about these people. Uh, I noticed that this is four guys and four gals. So are these the two teams? Will there be two teams of eight? And if so, will these be the teams? That this is already team A, and then this is team B. I don't know. Maybe interesting. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> oh, my voice, man. <laughs> moving on to the other side. We have on the left here what I can only assume is going to be Chuck. <laughs> this guy gives me a bit of hillbilly redneck vibes. Like, this guy could partake in jackass, right? This guy is not afraid to do weird and crazy stunts. This guy uh, loves to chase thrills. So Chase could even be a good name as well. Uh, Chuck or Chase. D -d -d something with the ch. <laughs> I hadn't even noticed the skull in the shirt yet, but that confirms my idea even more. Anyway, I really like the design of this character. Excited to see what he's going to be doing. Okay, then on the right of him, we have this lady right here. I'm gonna guess this character is pretty sassy, but also pretty nice. I don't think she's going to be an evil character. This character is pretty comparable to Lashana, right? She was sassy as well, 
but Lashana was always one of the good characters, and I think that's going to be the case with this character as well. I think a name like Brenda could work for this character. I don't know why. Again, I'm just basing that on whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I can see this character being named Brenda. I'm excited to see what this character is going to bring. Can't really tell a whole lot from her just sitting there, but she does have the lazy eyes. Villain! <laughs> no, she's not gonna be the villain. However, the guy behind her, now this, this could be a villain. This could for sure be a villain. Um, it's nice to see that Ryan got shrunk down a little bit. <laughs> this guy's face reminds me a lot of Ryan's, um, but obviously not him. I'm getting lightning vibes from this guy as well. Actually, this guy's pretty huge. This could be Ryan's brother. <laughs> sure, let's go with that hat cannon. This is now the brother of Ryan. What would you name the brother of Ryan? Jackson? Is the hell about Jackson? I like Jackson. Let's go with Jackson. Next to the little girl in front of him, she has a very disproportionate face to body ratio. <laughs> she seems cute. Not in that sense, you deviants. I mean in the sense that she seems like a like a cute girl. Like, she, she would be nice. I feel like she's the youngest of the people we've seen so far, if they're not all the same age. Again, this character feels like she has a, a Mexican background, maybe. So I am going to call her Dora. Not at all inspired by some other famous explorer character. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I feel like this could be a Dora. What can we see about Dora? Well, she feels like a character that's shy in the way that she holds her hands before her. She feels a little young, she feels a little insecure about herself. Yeah, I'm interested to see where this character is going to go. Then the lady right next to her. So this is the uh, character of Asian origin that they were talking about. If I'm having to guess which country she would come from, I'm having to... I'm guessing something like Vietnam or... Thailand, something that region. So what would it be a name for her? Maybe something like Lin? Maybe that's a bit too cliche, but it would work, absolutely. So uh, let's go with Lin, sure. What about Lin? Uh, Lin feels like a more laid back, doesn't really care about what you think about her character. I mean, she's wearing a beanie and baggy clothes. So immediately this character gives me the impression that she cares less for her looks to the people that wear baggy clothing and beanies. I don't want to insinuate that you guys uh, don't care for your looks. Oh man, I, I feel like the longer I go on about these characters, the more I'm starting to judge people on their appearances. Not the point of this video, guys, please. This character, I, I don't know if you guys have seen How I Met Your Father, but this character is giving me the vibes of, I forgot her name. The Asian lesbian character. That's basically, if you made a cartoon of her, this is her. <laughs> At least, I think. So, I'm going to go with a little more laid back. I'm going to go with a little more whimsical as well. I think this will be a pretty funny character. I do think we can expect some funny moments from her. So, the guy in the back. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ralph. Or I'm gonna go with Logan. I'm heading more towards Ralph for the moment. So let's go with Ralph. I have no clue. Absolutely no clue. This guy is a blank slate to me. <laughs> I can't really see what he's doing. Um, I, I feel like his legs should be there. <laughs> like they should be sticking out a little, but sure. Um, anyway, yeah, this character seems fun. This character seems like he will be a nice guy. That's all I can really say about him. And I like his hair. I really like his hair. Nice design. I don't really know what this character will be about because there's not a lot of personality to be derived from his posture or anything. So I guess we just have to wait and see. Then, what is going on with this guy's neck? <laughs> I'm getting Stanley vibes from this guy. So let's go with Stanley. I actually quite like that name. So let's do that. Stanley here is basically a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> he has a long neck. He has a yellow outfit. Yeah, this is a giraffe right here. I'm getting a bit of uh, shaggy vibes from uh, from Scooby Doo. Yeah, of course. Which other shaggy? <laughs> oh well, it could be Mr. Bombastic Shaggy. But no, I mean the Scooby Doo Shaggy, of course. He seems a little laid back. He seems funny, quirky. He seems a little bit oblivious as well. So I think we can expect a lot of shaggy shenanigans from this character, if he's not one of the first characters to be eliminated. Because that is also something I can see happening. That he is one of the first to go out. Anyway, he's holding a drink. I don't know why. What would be the reason that he is the only person to have something edible or consumable here? The others didn't have any of that. 
why is he the only one with this can? Is that going to be important for his story? Is this guy majorly into this kind of drink? Like, like Popeye gives him strength or something? <laughs> um, I, I don't think this is an accidental detail. I think this is going to be a, a big part of his character. I don't know how. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, but it, it would feel weird for this not to be brought up later. Because none of these characters have anything to eat or drink. Except for him. Except for Stanley. Also, Larry could probably work. But I like Stanley more. I, li I like this guy's design. He's pretty fun. This is the kind of fun design that I'd like to see in my Total Drama characters. And finally, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with Carol on this one. Or Cheryl, maybe. Something like that, you know? Um... This guy gives me Eva Tough Girl vibes. Uh, also, the, the Carol from this venture camp. That connection was not lost on me. Uh, but yeah, this character gives off major, major Carol vibes. Clearly, this is an army girl. Clearly, this is a girl boss. Uh, clearly, this character is going to be a strong contestant. You can see it in the way that she looks. You can see it in the way that she's posing. Uh, this character is going to be a force to be reckoned with. I don't think she's going to be the villain, per se. But I do think this character's not here to make a lot of friends. And then that is the final cast. Again, we have four guys here and the four gals. So I'm, I'm curious if these are going to be the teams. That would be fun. A little sneak peek about what the teams are going to be. Um, my thoughts. Really excited. I'm really, really, really excited. I really like these designs. Seeing new characters at first is always a weird side. It, you have to take a little time to get used to these people. But... Having looked at them for a solid... How long have I been recording now? 46 minutes?! Anyway, having looked at this for three quarters of an hour, <laughs> I, I think I'm, I'm already getting used to their designs. I'm really looking forward to this new season. However, I still think the release is going to be 2023. I'm, I'm, I'm basically willing to bet money on it right now. We are now first shown some promotional material. It is October. If they're going to aim for a holiday release, which is probably what they will be doing if they want to release this this year, then we're going to have to get so much more information so much sooner. So, the next couple of weeks are going to be really interesting. Hey guys, Editing Billy here. So, about that statement I just made about uh, future release potential. If you look at the top right hand of this corner, it says something like see us at... I don't have the image in front of me, so I'm doing this out of my head. You can see it on screen right now. See us at M7 something D18 or something. Anyway, that is referring to a comic event, something like that. It's an exhibition for... Um, for comics, I believe is what that means. And that expo is actually in two weeks. I believe it starts uh, October the 15th. So that's in a week's time. So, this is making me slightly, slightly optimistic about a 2022 reveal. Because if that is true, then suddenly we are picking up steam a whole lot quicker. I still don't think it's likely, but this is exactly what I would expect if we were aiming for a 2022 release. So, let's see. Who knows? Characters look really promising. Really looking forward to see what these characters are going to do, which characters are going to be fun, which characters are going to be hated. Please don't tell me any of these are Dave 2, that would just be the worst. But anyway, oh my voice, oh my voice is leaving me ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna head off. I'm probably gonna go to bed. <laughs> the final thing I want to give you is let's all get excited for the new season together. Um, if you want more Total Drama content, and this is the first time you stumbled onto one of my videos, rest assured, I'm going to cover the heck out of this season as soon as it drops and leading up to it as well. So if you want a source of information about the new seasons, if you want somebody to talk with about the new characters and what you think their personalities are going to be, feel free to join me down below by clicking the subscribe button. We also have a Discord server where there's a lot more people to talk about the new Total Drama seasons and other stuff that I do on my channel as well. I'll link it down below. Don't worry, my voice doesn't always sound like this. <laughs> I don't even know if it's that bad i'm gonna look really silly if it doesn't but hey silly's in the name so i guess it's perfect but again i thank you for watching this has been silly Billy, and remember making outros is really difficult if your voice does not cooperate oh no <laughs>